Hello YouTube and hello Ninth Age community. This is Charles, Everyhead Gaming, and this is another Ninth Age Battle Report. So I got an, a fun game last week um, against uh, my Highborn Elf friend, and I don't have the lists um, exactly, so I'm just going to kind of describe them as I go through the images. Uh, his wizard is taking three alchemy spells and one cosmology, so the cosmology is altered sight. And then he's got Silver Spike, Molten Copper, and Transmutation Lead. I took a Shaman with just two spells from Shamanism. It's just a Wizard Apprentice. He has Break the Spirit and Totemic Summon. So that's pretty good. So my list was kind of funky. I had a one Spider. And then uh, in the forest, there's 20 Cave Goblins with a Mad Git. And then I have 20 Iron Orcs. My Shaman's in there. And I have my General in there. He's an Iron Orc on foot. And he has a two-up for a region with a great weapon. That's all he has. Uh, I want to say the unit has nothing either. No banner upgrade or anything. Just one command. And then I have 20 crossbow arcs. I was like dying to play with crossbow arcs because I just love them. Finally took them. Uh, on the other side of the crossbow works, I have a great green idol. Um, I have a more chariot character. He's got the Bluffer Sound, a 4 up board save, and I have another Spider. And that's all that's on the table right now. Uh, the scenarios we played were Dawn Assault and um, Breakthrough was the objective. So the scenario de or the deployment, Dawn Assault, um, on 12 inches on your sides, you can only put cavalry, light troops, or scouting, which I had none of in my army. And then you have to hold two units in reserve. Uh, the two units, I have two more units of 20 cave goblins, one mag at each. So again, like I said, it was kind of a weird list. Uh, me and my friend wanted to get together and play a game, but we didn't really, you know, want to play. He just got done playing Machine GT. I kind of wanted to play with something fun. So we, we had, you know, we put together these fun lists. So so my friend's hybrid off list, he's got a great eagle. He's got two things of Queen's Guard, one unit of 10, one unit of like eight or nine, and then he's got uh, like a decent sized block of archers right there in the middle, um, and he's got a Queen's Maiden BSB in there, and I believe the BSB has just the Raver Bow, and that's it, you know, just that's it, Sex and Pharmacy with Lane Armor, and then he's got a decent sized block of uh, Lion Guard there to the right, uh, I want to say it's at least 24, I remember it being pretty good, and then he has his wizard in there right now, um, the, the you know, the guy with the Cosmology spell and the the Master Current Tower. That's what I want to say. And then behind that, he has a Hernaconum. Just kidding. It's he's actually he forgot his Sky Sloop at home, so he's uh he's practicing that as a Sky Sloop at my Hernaconum. To the right of the Hernaconum, or actually in front of the Hernaconum, he has a uh, White Lion Chariot character dude. Um, I think he's a pretty typical build. I think he actually he has a Regen save. Uh, the Divine Icon, and uh, i trying to think of skills last week. I want to say the Demon Hunter Helm. So he gets like a three up. And yeah, that's what it is. Demon Hunter Helm, Regen, and then Divine Icon. Next to that guy, 20 Spears, and then he's got five Lancers. And then in reserve, he's got a unit of 10 White Lions, not Skirmish or anything, just 10 White Lions with Musician, and another unit of 20 Spears. So yeah, kind of funky lists. Um, he doesn't have any Bolt Throwers. I have... You know, BSB actually. Um, so turn one, uh, I put one unit of Cave Goblins on this side, put another unit of Cave Goblins on the other side, and I'm like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> so um, I move up with pretty much everything. Actually, everything moves, even the crossbows, because I put them too far back on that hill. So yeah, everything moves forward. I'm a little bit scared of the White Lion Chariot character, so I'm trying to give him a little bit of space, but I still got to push forward with him. In the magic phase, I'm able to get... Uh, I also have a Ring of Fire on my caster, which is nice. Yeah, I think he just has the Ring of Fire and the... I want to say the Scepter of Power. I get Totamnex coming off behind this Queen's Guard, so they're about to eat a Breath Weapon in the shooting phase. And they do eat a Breath Weapon, and I believe it kills... like uh, Yeah, it kills five. It was really good. If I can say one thing, my magic was smoke in this game. It was so good. And then... Uh, and then my crossbow shoot, even with the move penalty, they killed two archers. I was like, go crossbows. 
Yo, this is Evershade Gaming coming at you live, live. with uh, Turn 1 Highborn Elves. Uh, charges? None. Weak. My Highborn Elves Turn 1, my friend brings his uh, our ambushers on the same spot, because um, I really I only have like, I have nothing on the other side basically, most of my stuff's on this side of the board. Um, and he doesn't really move up too much, you know, he's got a lot of shooting still with his archers. Uh, he just turns, he does turn the one unit Queen's Bandit around, and he puts his BSB in there to get rid of the Totanic Summon. There isn't too much he does on this side, he's kind of just lining up, you know, his chariot character, and those spears, um, you know, keeping everything out of distance right now. Yeah. Uh, he casts Silver Spike on my Lord, and I let it go through, um... I passed my ward save, so that was awesome. Just like, whatever. And then, uh, and he has to miscast, though. <laughs> and he only miscasts on three dice, so I was like, oh, it won't be that bad. He kills four white lines. No biggie. In the shooting phase, he is able to kill the Totamic Summon. I believe he does a little shooting elsewhere, but it's not very effective. Orcs and Goblins, turn two. Everything keeps moving forward. Kind of have, I kind of have my Iron Orcs really close to those white lines, actually. Sort of baiting them, I think, with the Iron Orcs. Um, I'm not sure if I could. I think I could outgrind the unit, maybe, but you know, that's a tough fight. Uh, but I do have my Great Green Idol uh, who could flank, so that's kind of good. Uh, I had to say the Archer's turn to kind of support the right side of the board, because again, all I have over there is one Spider, my Chariot Lord. I moved my Chariot up Lord up close. Um, a little too close. I'm um, trying to bait his hero coming out, because I think I can win that in a grind, too, with the Bluffer's Helm. And then the archers is trying to get in, get in range to shoot stuff. And my mana phase, I get another Totanic Summon up. Oh my gosh. Uh, and I also get Break the Spirit off on those White Lions. So, I don't know if I was, I don't know if I was trying to move him up, but I mean, I'm lucky, I was lucky enough to get the spell off, too. And then... Uh, the shooting phase, I think I shoot at the Spearman over there, but I don't do any wounds with the crossbows. And, oh, I kill all but one Queen's Guard, and I, yeah, uh, with the with the Tanner Summon. So good. Hybrid level turn two. Look at that charge. He makes a long ball charge with his, I think he, I think he was about 14 or 15 inches away. So he needed like a 9 or a 10, and he makes it with the infantry. So that's not good. Um, he doesn't really move too much else out. I think he moves his white lines a little bit. Not very aggressively, obviously. He doesn't want to march with them. Um, he's just kind of, you know, keeping those highborn lances on the right save. Um, yeah, I'm moving my left spider up around his flank to try and get the stuff back there. Um, but I'm still getting shot at all the time, too, so I'm eating magic, too. Uh, the Iron Arcs, uh, hip got hit by a silver spike. It was two guys. And then in combat, um, he obviously challenges. I eat the impact hits, but I, I make it through okay with that. Uh, he hits with all of his attacks. All four of his attacks from his prince hit. He wounds with three men, too. That was pretty good, too, past the bluffer's helm. And I make one armor save. He strength six. I make one armor save. And I can't pass any wards because he's got the minor guns, so that makes sense. So I eat two wounds there. Uh, I, I think I get three hits back, two or three hits back, and I forced through one wound. So that was okay. I was kind of, honestly, I was kind of surprised how many wounds he, he just hit four times. You know, I mean, what can you do when they hit four times? But yeah, he hits really well. Um, and then in combat, you know, he's got all the combat rest from the spears, and I break. And unfortunately, I don't run very far. Um, and the prince goes pretty far. And he went like 10 inches or 12, like 11 inches or something like that. I only went like seven, so Prince catches me. Um, the infantry followed too, but at least the crossbows got something to shoot at now, so that's that's fun. Close range crossbows. Orcan Goblins turn three. I issue my wag, and the only thing I really try to do, he uh, he chaffed me on his previous turn with his eagle, so I tried to tear the eagle with my Great Green Idol. It doesn't work, unfortunately, so I have to go in against it. My plan was to tear the eagle, and then I was going to put the Great Green Idol in on the corner um, of the unit and put my Iron Orcs in the front um, so that mainly Iron Orcs get to fight 
break green idols in the flank, you know, getting to do the stop and everything. That's kind of the best way to put them into combat. Doesn't work out. I also charge my spider and my goblins at that unit of 10 white lions. Uh, I wanted to get the, the goblins, I think, were about 14 away. Or no, they were 13 away. They needed a 9 on the dice. With Swiss Stride, they didn't get it. So, unfortunately, the spider's got to do a lot of work. <laughs> Uh, and then this is what it looks like on the other side. Um, I'm just try I want to try and pelt the unit of spearmen to death with shooting, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. This is a very fuzzy picture, but I can break the spear, force break the spear, five dice break the spear, get it on the uh, white lines. That's going to help, I think. And then uh, I do a little more shooting, kill some queens guard with some goblin archers. So that's always fun. Uh, the crossbows unleash, and they kill seven spearmen. Pretty good. Um, yeah, not too bad. Close range and everything. Uh, in combat, uh, he does four wounds to me, which I thought was about average. He hit really well, but he rolled really poorly. He hit like seven times out of ten, hitting on fours, um, but then he only wounded twice, thankfully. So he multiplies to four. I kind of felt like I whiffed, too. He kind of thought that was what I should do, but he was just bad. I think he was just passing six armor saves. I only killed four guys. Uh, in combat, oh, it's a total whiff fest. Uh, and the eagle sticks. <laughs> like, he takes, you know, he's like on a, he's got his BSB right there, but I, I was really disappointed. I was just like, I only got one impact hit that didn't wound. Uh, I missed with all my attacks. Like, the eagle, I think the eagle even hit and wounded with the deck when I made an armor save. It was like, ugh. So, on Hybrid Elves turn three, he charges on those white lines. Goodbye, great green idol. Uh, you're you're beautiful, uh, and then this is how the rest of the board looks. So he moves his chariot character in with his spearmen to threaten the crossbows, which uh, kind of sucks. But I don't know what can you do. And then he he kind of moves those lancers around to go after the goblin archers because he's breakthrough, so he's got to use scoring units in my deployment zone. And then it's like also dawn attack. We have like bigger deployment zones, like 14 inches up. So it's like, ugh, it's like really hard. I'm trying. I'm still trying to get these goblin archers up. You know, they're just not very fast, unfortunately. Uh, and then he's got that spearman up. Uh, you know, I'm still fighting those white lions in the corner. He's still got all his shooting left. Those white lions are about to butcher a great good idol. So yeah, I was looking. I, I thought it was looking. It was looking really bleak here for me. I thought he gets transmutation let off on my iron arcs, which is really bad, because he can possibly overrun into me. And he also gets... I think he also puts flammable on them, so they, he's got real... They're, just, they're hexed to death right now. It's really bad. They're a good magic phase. Kills a few goblin archers. Um, the one, the farthest goblin archer on my left actually has the banner at this point. This was such a weird army that I played. And then I take two more wounds from a solar spike or something like that. Um, and then this was great. Oh, this was amazing. He only does one more wound with the, those six white lines. He gets a decent amount of hits again. He gets like four hits. Four out of six hits. But he can only get one wound out of four up. So the spider lives. And then I don't even think I kill them all. I might I might kill them. No, I do kill them all. I think with I like with all my attacks and the stomp, I, I do kill them all this time. And that's awesome, because that frees me up to go charge those spearmen. Uh, and then this was funny, too. He goes in, and the white lions... I mean, they have a decent amount of attacks. They have, like, 14 attacks. They, you know, they get a good amount of hits. They just roll up three sixes. Like, you know, out of, like, the 10 or 11 hits they got, they roll up three sixes. That's it. That's the Great Green Idol. Best part, though, for me, though, is the eagle can't overrun, because uh, there's nothing to pursue. So uh, we're just stuck there, and he just reforms. Orcs and Goblins, turn four. I charge my spider into the flank of those spearmen. Uh, I've only got two wounds, but, you know, he, he obviously at this point he doesn't have any attacks. I think I can blow through that unit in one phase um, between all my attacks. Hopefully they... I want them to fail a fear test, but it's highborn elves. They never fail fear tests. Even though Martial Discipline is, is a terrible rule. Ask any Highborn Elf player. They'll tell you, Martial, martial Discipline, god-awful rule. Like, why are you even paying for it? I hope you I hope the, the satire... And satire is dripping from my tongue right now, if you haven't noticed it. I think it's a great rule. Uh, but I digress. So, yeah, this is what the board looks like. Um, 
I'm trying to get I'm trying to bait those Highborn Lancers with the goblins on the right because I've still got one man get left. Crossbows have no choice but to suck up a charge, trying to shoot the uh, shoot down those uh, spearmen so that they're a less of a threat. Maybe can panic them later. Yeah, um, I don't want to charge the eagle. I've actually I've maneuvered one of my cave goblin units close to the eagle so I can release them and get finally. So things are about to get spicy on the table. Uh, in the magic phase, I get another totemic summon up. Oh gosh, totemic summons so good. I love that they're grotlings too. That's the funniest thing. Uh, and then I also, I also, he has to stop, break the spirit on something. So I'm also able to get a ring of fire off and kill two white lions. And then this is, this is to me was my winning move. I think my winning play, I'm able to kill the Eagle with a mad get. And at the same time, it went nine inches. It was like the perfect movement. It killed the Eagle and now it's chaffing the white lions. Oh, Utterly brilliant move. I was like, I was like, that to me just saved the game. Like, if that thing went too short, didn't kill the eagle, like, did anything else, it, like, to me, I, the game would have been up and balanced. But at that point, I was like, wow, the, things could really turn around here. Because I had this, I thought the spider would do really well. And then this happens. Oh my gosh. The Tamic Summon Breath Weapon obliterates that unit. It brings the... I actually... Because I'm able to do some other shooting first to weaken them with my other archers. So that there's like... I actually put a wound on his BSB. I like to bring him down enough where I'm able to put wounds on his BSB. It's crazy. Because there's only like... Uh, there's only four models. It was crazy. I don't kill the unit, but I'm able to put a wound on the BSB. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. And then, I, this was kind of weird. I, I, I did like seven wounds last time at close range. They got even closer. Um, I only did three. So, I just, I think I hit well again, and I just didn't wound well. But that's okay. Uh, crossbows are, honestly, they're still doing decently for me. So, that's cool. And then, this was great. Uh, he pokes one wound through on the spider, which I was like, whatever, with four attacks. Um, and then... He flees. He actually, I mean, because actually, if you notice, there's 12 guys on there. I don't break his ranks, but he just fails. He does fail. He fails his leadership seven, seven fast times. So that's good, at least. They're fleeing. It's all kind of cogged up right now. If the spider can live, um, the spider can do a lot more damage still. And I still got one full health spider on the right flank, trying to, <laughs> or the, yeah, my right flank, trying to get there. So I have one else turn one. There is not a lot of movement. The spearmen rally. Um, I think the, I think the archers might turn. So I'd say I think I think the the BSB moves in a way where he can shoot the totemic summon, and the sloop also wants to shoot the totemic summon. In the magic phase, he gets transportation let off on my guys, which is really good. Um, that also gets lets him put. He has a flaming banner on those white lines, so he keeps putting the, like the reroll, to, you know, the flammable on them. So it's it's a good great combination. Uh, at this point, um, Tensational Lead is not that great, though, I guess, now that I think about it, because I can still use Paired Weapons for Strength 5, first round. Um, and I can still use Shields, like, so they're both not bad. Paired Weapons probably be the way to go, extra attack, still Strength 5. Uh, yeah, so this is a, that's a good picture of what the board looks like. The, the BSB and the Sloop are able to kill the Totamic Summon. The Archers, ugh, they put one more. You get one wound more on the Spider, and they, I can't pass the support. So they kill the Spider, unfortunately. That would have been nice to keep that around, uh, especially because I might have even been able to charge fast some stuff. Uh, and then he actually charged. We kind of like, when he when he put the Prince in there, I think he was worried I had a Champion, but I Forgot to buy a champion. Actually, like, I bought a banner for no reason. I had like 20 points left over in the list, and I needed to fill core up. So he charges the chariot character in, and he kind of just doesn't really do very well. Um, and I'm still steadfast. That's right. Oh, my general says the crown of autocracy. I have no BSB, but I have leadership 10 in the army. And then they're within 12 inches, so they pass their steadfast test, and they're stuck there. Orcs and Goblins turn 5. I charge my spider uh, that was on the right into his sky sloop, which is great. Uh, it's kind of actually chaffing up the spider, but that's okay. Uh, I can break the spirit off on the white lines, which is awesome. Uh, I think I miscast and do a couple wounds. 
I know there's like four in there, but I'm pretty sure there's only two in the back, so. And then this was awesome. I killed his BSB right there, uh, who was up in the corner with one of my unit of archers. Um, he's just within range and he only had one wound left. Uh, and he just, he gets killed. Panics his unit of archers, which has his mage in it now. And they flee, they don't flee off the board, but they flee right behind the sky sloop. Mm, mm. Beautiful position to get uh, to get overrun into. So that was a huge turn for me. Uh, the BSB was great, but having them fail, you know, like a leadership nine test was great. So, yep, that's his dead BSB. And that's where those archers led to. So that's just fantastic. And then I also killed some spearmen with goblin bows. Great, great job, goblins. And uh, the mad git uh, moves out of the way of white lions, but it kills some spearmen. So that's pretty good. And then since I had a really big turn with the uh, with the BSB, this was really big too. Again, his white lion character kind of I think all the four attacks from the prince miss, just miss outright. You know, one, 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 two, two, like really bad roll. Um, I'm still steadfast, but they they, they actually break. They roll an eleven. I'm no reroll anywhere. So they flee. They get caught down, and the prince is right there. And then the spider has no problem killing the sloop. I mean, it's, you know, it's not like it's gonna stand up to a spider. I get the archers and I overrun them. Spider is right there. So yeah, really big turns on my turn five. Um, still, I think the game is, to me, this game was still up in the air at this point, which was so fun. Uh, and then this is all out of order, but I did move my goblins close enough to release my mad git, but it rolls three inches. <laughs> so Hybrid Null's turn five, he charges his white lines into these archers. Uh, and they take like five danger strain. They rolled. He rolled really badly for his DTs. Uh, and then he charges his art is like remaining four spearmen because he's got a champion and his white lion character into the flank of the iron arms. So again, it's just spicy. Everything is so spicy on turn five. Everything I you know, a bunch of things are still in combat. The game is still up in the air. I believe the spearmen are in my deployment zone. I'm getting into my, his deployment zone with my other unit of goblin archers. Uh, unfortunately, that spider's out of the game, but yeah, very interesting game still at turn five. Uh, in combat, he doesn't really hit very well. He's got Break the Spirit up. Um, I think I killed two guys with a ton of tanks. So that's really good. Just fails his armor saves. Uh, and I think I win combat 1 1, but he's 6. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think this, this is out of order. So, and then this is what happened. This was crazy crazy with the spearman and the white line. The white line, I, I don't issue a challenge. I elect to use shields on my iron orbs. I don't issue a challenge, because I'm like, uh, I don't really want to eat the impact hits like with my guy. He's only got, like, my general's only got two of four up. I'm like, I want to keep him alive. So, uh, the impact hits only do one win on the unit. Uh, I might even save them all. I've got, I mean, I got a five up against them, so I think I save all the against the impact hits. And his white line Jared character, again, kind of loves a little bit, I believe. I think he puts a bunch of most, most of his attacks on my general. Because, you know, he's holding bodyguard for the unit. And he just can't get past his saves or he misses. Um, we end up killing all the spearmen. And I think we, my, champ, my champion does challenge and his spearman elects and I kill his cha spearman champion. And we, we run down his lord. His lord even charging in loses combat because I had four combat res. Look, it looks like I lost one iron arc. I had four combat res from the spearmen. I had a rank and a banner. All he had was a flank and a charge. So he's down by four. And we pursue we you know and we pursue him. He gets away, but now it's my turn and Orcs and Goblins turn six. I charge him and he flees again. He flees very short. And then my goal was actually to charge the the spearmen because they're in my deployment zone, and I'm trying to win you know, you know the objective. I thought he was going to flee farther. That was my goal. Was like I'm going to charge him, push him, you know, hope maybe he won't rally last turn. I can get half points, and then I can charge into the spearmen. I fail my redirect test, so I have to charge him. He only goes like four inches. We catch him, and that's pretty much what we call the game actually. Yeah, like, oh man, this game was so wild. Oh, such a fun game. 
So, yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. I move the goblins way up on the, the top of the picture into his deployment zone. He's got a unit of spears in my deployment zone. Um... We kind of like talked about like you know because we called it, but then we kept like we kept kind of talking about the game, unfortunately, uh, which I think is what you should never do. Like if you're gonna call a game, it's like it's where it ends. Um, but like I was like I was like dude yeah I was like I was I was like I think it should be a tied objective. He's like no you won this uh, you won the objective. I was like no I'll probably tie on the objective because you got one I've got one. It's you know the goblins and the lancers are kind of all tied up. And then it's like, well, I might win. And then it was like, and then it, and then it became from like a his position moved from a you could you you have the objective to oh maybe I could win the objective. So this is where we call it. The game ends up being a sixteen four win for Orcs and Goblins, uh, just on points. Nobody has the objective. That's how I'm calling it. Um, because it's I mean it's like when you call a game, you gotta call a game. But yeah, that was such a fun game. Oh my goodness. Uh, very back and forth, I had some really amazing, uh, for two spells, the Shamanism and a Ring of Fire, my magic phases were dominant. I think it's just because I rolled the two best spells in the lore, honestly. Totemic Summon and Break the Spirit. I rolled, I think I rolled, I just rolled a five and a six with spells. I didn't roll doubles or anything. I just rolled a five and a six. I was like, I'm keeping these. That's awesome. That's exactly what I needed. And then, uh, yeah. I thought we had both had fun lists, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? I thought, you know, no BSB, but Leadership 10 is kind of funny with, like, a small... I mean, I thought the Iron Orcs were really small, but they really held on to their... The models held on to themselves pretty well. That's right, never mind. They had the Iron Hide banner, so they had a 5 against shooting, too. I kind of forgot about that. So that really helped negate a lot of shooting damage. I thought the Spider... I really love riding two Spiders and a Great Green Idol. And I was also, like... I was thinking, like, man, wouldn't it be fun to have... A boar character, like your boar chariot character, but also you have a unit of iron orcs with an iron orc character in there. Not a BSB, but a general. So that's how that list was spawned. And I thought my friend's list was... I thought it was good, but I mean... Didn't really have... I think if he had another sloop, it would have been top-notch. Because, I mean, like, with all the Queen's Guard, like... That's a decent amount of strength for shooting. Obviously, you can have bolt throwers. I know, like, every elf player is always like, ooh, bolt throwers. But I know my friend's getting kind of tired of them. Just, I don't know. I think the last, like, you know, ten games he had, they've just been rolling really poorly. So he's just done with bolt throwers. But yeah, that was a fun game. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been Every Sheet Game. And uh, you'll get another battle port pretty soon. Bye.